Hello, all you wonderful beans out there, and welcome to the stream. I am Razim, and this is Data Resistance Squad Scar. Season 1, Episode 18, Paralogue Chapter. Tonight's episode is titled, Happy Fun Dates. Uh, we shall begin, as usual, with introductions, beginning with the illustrious and cute and super adorable and my darling, lovely Bean, Kerr. Hi everyone, I'm Kerr. I am back from hell. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. And I am here to bring happy fun times to all of you. This is a very large smile that none of you can see that you should be kind of afraid of. But yes, let's turn it over. I am Raw Zim, and I am playing as Asher the Labramon, the embodiment of evil itself. Jace, you'll be up next. Hi, sir. I am Drunk Dragon Era from my own channel, and I am playing Jace the the Gilman, and I also have allergies, so excuse my stupidity. I'm Hi now guys, the I'm... real star. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Brian. I'm playing the Dracomon X known as Magna. Um, he is a fire shadow type. My apologies if I'm sounding out of it. Allergies. I feel... It's not as bad as it was earlier, but it's still kind of kicking my butt. Oh, right. Asher is a uh, astral light type. Oh, right. I can I'm help you with that, Magna. Please, no. I can Just give let you me... something that'll make you forget all about your allergies. The allergies are persistent. I just need to go to the Seaburn chamber. The military won't let me go, though. Why? I don't know why, but it will clear my sinuses really well for like two weeks. All right, Magda, oh, you're up for Magda. recap. Oh, fuck. I'm actually mad at this because I've been doing so much other stuff. Oh, no. Get good. Um, what is it? We... I'm trying to remember everything, but we met with the technical... I believe it was, last time we left off, it was we met with the king, the high king, or whatever it was, along yes, with... The high, the high king did come to see you, yes. Along with the two nights and everything, we met for a little bit. He caused Riv to shut down because he shut off Vorvamir. No, sorry, Vortiger. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And everyone else didn't know what to do. He infatuated Charles with a chest full of money to the point where he turned into Scrooge McDuck. Mm -hmm. And then after we left, um, Magnet tried to cheer up Riff, but failed doing that. We had um, Jace and Spectre, and I believe Charles as well, try to find their ride back in the sopping rain while... My mind is blanking, don't mind me. It's because of allergies and I didn't watch the last session. It was Ash, I created a shield protecting everyone else from the rain. When we got back to town, um, Gar met us there with umbrellas and stuff for all of us. And then we all walked back to the house and everything. He invited Magna on a date, kissed Magna on the cheek, and then Magna got dragged into a room with uh, dragged into room by Asher to go to Jace. And what happened was that Magna got dating prep and everything, and Riv went to the library alone, scared due to the fact being he had a shutdown and everything, because he didn't want anyone to mess with him. The High King came over to Riv and talked to him, and revealed that he was Ash, and Ash apologized gave him an item in order to prevent people from targeting Vorvamir inside of him and everything else. And essentially told him, don't give up. 
And that's all I've got. You also met the uh, the other Holy Knight as well. <clears throat> right. He's the one who originally came to talk to you too. Right. The Cyberdramon Vol. Oh yeah. yeah. No, that was that was pretty much everything. I think you got almost everything. Okay. Don't worry, everything's going to be fine, Magna. Smiles. Yay. But yes, anything else anyone else wants to add? Uh, well, I mean, did he mention uh, his encounter with Asher after he agreed to a date? Right. Yes. Asher. You know, the Asher whole point to... of this episode? Yeah, Asher wants to make sure that Magna does a good enough date. And the reason being is making sure Magna doesn't fuck up or do a Magna thing by following everyone and being a wingman. Thanks for the demonetization. My apologies. <laughs> the biggest left turn in Asher history happened during that talk. Yes. Hello, Raharu. But yes. <clears throat> I think we're just about ready to go. Yeah, let's do this. So, Magna, what would you be doing well, to get ready first, for your... Oh, good. Go ahead. First things first, actually. We have... Fan art. Oh, fan art. So... I'll show these on uh, Friday as well. Super sneak uh, preview. Why not? Yeah. Super secret preview. The best thing ever. Oh, right. It's still doing that. Well, the rest of them aren't here, so we'll just do this. Whoosh. Oh, my God. That's great. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's so good. I love it. Oh no. Why is the tip gold called <laughs> See the World? Yeah. I want to show you the world. You have $2.22 in your bank account. I can show you my driveway. So there's that lovely piece. Uh, and then we've also got another of Magna. Oh no. Baby! <laughs> <laughs> In a nice little maid outfit. <laughs> oh, fuck. See, see I, yeah. I don't think that's a. That, that doesn't make me think of a maid outfit. That makes me think of a sailor outfit. Sailor Magna. Brian, please watch your language. Right, Dude. right. Oh, shoot. Darn. Heck. Heckin. The heck, pupper. Fluffin. And the last one is of Asher. Except the Martin video the is uh, blocking the important part of this. <laughs> this one looks innocent and cute and fine. Everything's great. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Oh, I know what to get Asher for his next birthday. Got it. Oh, boy. Yes. Uh, oh, my God. That was great. It looks like he's just holding his stick. It's like, aw. And then the Martin video goes away. It's like, oh, oh, that that's not a stick. Yes, the video <laughs> was in a perfect place for this. <laughs> but yeah. All right. 
We're ready. Let's get on with it. Yes, yes. Uh, so, Magna, Magna, what are you doing to get ready for your date tonight? Magna's, like, knowing that he's, that Gar's going to show up to the house and everything to pick him up and everything, so he's rushing around trying to grab, as Jace told him, his favorite foods, which is almonds, I believe it was. Or was it pecans? I think I said pecans. It was pecans. I think it was pecans. Because everybody it... made fun of me for the way I said it. Yes, yes. It was pecans. So Magnus rushing around grabbing pecans, asking for help making, like, um, what, what is it? The cinnamon sugar pecans, the cinnamon dunked ones, and then some in chocolate. And just, like, putting them all in a bag. He, 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 he is scared baby. He is scared baby. I'm just, I'm just imagining right now, Magna, the F opera is going off in your head right now. I don't want to take yes. away Asher's monetization. But yes, uh, Asher, Jace, what are you two doing as Magna is running around like a chicken with his head cut off? Um, Please don't trying to get ready you for his date. You. Waiting by the door to see what the hell he puts on. <laughs> Asher is following him, watching every move and judging. Jaji, Jaji, Jaji. Uh, Magna, do you get dressed in anything special or nice? Magna's running real quickly, grabbing... Like, after getting the food set, he's gonna try to grab, like, a nice... A nice coat, and, like, maybe a tie, and he's just, like, running all around, being like, Oh god, run, 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 gotta look nice, gotta look nice. Okay. And like as soon as he's ready, he's just like having a mini panic oh, attack trying to get the tie right. Ah! Toshime! Wow! Toshime! Toshime! What the fuck? Contract. I'm dead. Uh, are, 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 are you sure you can do that, Toshime? <laughs> Thank you so very much. I appreciate that support. <laughs> he is ambushing us with love and affection. Yeah, the, the no, sponsor has cool. returned, apparently. <laughs> we weren't expecting that. We thought he couldn't do anything anymore. That's okay. Well, the tip goal has been double completed. Sky, please don't Bonk. play those Delphi kinds Paws. of sounds. This, this stream is sponsored by <laughs> Del Fox Paws. <laughs> generous well, thank you so much, Toshime. <laughs> From Haru, thank you as well. $10. So, so Magna grabbed a coat and is currently trying to tie a tie. Yes. Oh. What what, <laughs> what? what time of year is it? Is it summer, spring, fall? It's like spring. It's like spring going into summer. It's nice weather. Nice weather. Chase is just going to walk up to him, undo the tie, and be like, do you want some help? Please. Take off the jacket. And then he's going to snap his fingers and be like, hey, Asher, can you find him a button-up shirt and a nice sweater? Uh, V-neck, uh, do a light color for the, the, the button-up shirt and looks him up and down. Uh, maybe a red <laughs> sweater? <laughs> Asher is running off to check as many of the, uh, uh, check the closets in the manor. They they are loaded with all manners of clothes of different sizes. Uh, okay. Uh, I will accept that influence. 
do, also, uh, Zim, I just want to check. I have more tip gold ideas. Did you want more, or is this fine? This will be fine. Okay, I just wanted to check. Now, Magna, I've got a really important question. Do you know how to tie a bow tie? Uh, uh, no. Okay, I'm going to show you, but not for you. I'm going to show you for your date, because knowing him, he spent 30 minutes trying to put on an actual bow tie for you like he did the first time, and it's going to be loose and it's going to fall off during the date. You need to compliment it. He boops your nose and then fix it. Ding, yep. dong, dong, ding. Bing, bong, bong, bing. The F symphony is just like going underneath Magda's breath. What we do is we roll up your sleeves with this button up. We put the sweater over it. We tuck it in like this. We leave the top button off. We flip the fly a little bit. And there. You put the jacket over your shoulder and you carry it and you put it on him when he gets cold. That was the big dramatic doorbell, by the way. Apparently, this place does not do things half fast. Okay, so wear it like this, and if he's and if he gets cold, put the sweater on him. Got no, it. The, the the jacket. The jacket. Okay. You don't wear a jacket because he'll overheat. He pats your head and turns around. I'll get the door. <laughs> Oh boy, let's do this then, I guess. Breathe. I'll open the door. For Magna. Uh, <laughs> and standing out is a uh, Gamamon. Uh, he is dressed in a very cute little suit. Um, it is a very nice uh, white suit that complements his uh, hide. Uh, in one hand, he has a thing of flowers. In the other thing, he has a thing of chocolates. And kind of balanced between the two is the one of the biggest things of uh, bread you have ever seen, Jace. He'll slowly step out of the way to show Magna, even though the bread is distracting. Also, the bread smells like super freshly baked. Uh, hi, hi, hi there. Motions Mag him in. <laughs> he will Mag slowly walk in before pausing, and he'll hold up the bread to Jace. <laughs> I, I brought you something, too. Oh, my friend. He takes it. Good luck, Magna. <laughs> thump, 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 thump. Jace, do you try taking a bite? Once he's in a private room. And he's not going to disturb <laughs> anybody with the sounds he's about to make. <laughs> Jace, when you take this bite, your brain proceeds to stop working for about 10 seconds. This bread is so fluffy and soft and moist. And yet, it is sweet and buttery almost. Despite, you know, it's just plain bread, but it's just so soft, it almost melts in your mouth. And it tastes Wait. so sweet and just delicious. Somebody clip this and send it to tell Darius, please. Please, someone do this. Please, <laughs> Don Brian, if you're still here, please. He's going to do terrible, terrible things to that bread tonight. And it's a giant loaf, like a huge loaf like that's half your size. It's not going to survive the next hour. <laughs> I did my part, Asher. The rest is to you. Jace is in a food coma. I've been taken out. <laughs> I, I was just imagining. I have to keep an eye on him. He could turn into, into my boss later. I have to make sure I know everything he does to make sure everything goes well. Gets bread. He is the best person in the world. I take back everything I ever said about him. Pretty much Asher. Jace's heart is with bread. Asher is going to go to the door and glare at the Gammamon. Oh, no. The Gammamon's going to wave at you. Um, 
I, I brought something for you, too. Hmm. He's going to pull out a little memory stick and hold it out to you. He will take it without a word. I... What do you say? I. Hmm. Um, is Magna ready to go? Magna's just like frozen, kind of like in fear. It's like, oh, my name. He's just gonna look at Asher's glaring at him and be like, Asher, please. Oh, but I'm ready. So he has to be back by 10 p.m. Mm. Not a minute later. Okay, I'll I'll do my best. And if you two get into things, make sure you use protection. Understood? Uh, all right, we we're just. You know, going to go around town and maybe do a few other I things. I said use not... protection. He will nod slowly. We'll do Asher. Hmm. He's going to look over at Magna. You look really handsome. Oh, are you objectifying him already? <laughs> no. No, no, I'm not. I just wanted to compliment him. Mm. I, I brought you some flowers and some chocolates. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so you want to fatten him up so he's not attractive to the others, huh? <laughs> no, I, I just wanted to be nice. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Asher, play nice. Poor, poor Gar looks like he's about to start crying. <laughs> I know you pull him out of the house. Hmm. I'm so sorry about that. I'm I'm really sorry. You look really nice. Oh, thank you. I I, I dressed up for you. Oh. I wanted to look nice. Oh, and I really love the bow tie. Let He's me... gonna kind of preen. Let me, Asher's let me... watching from the window. Fuck. <laughs> I'm just imagining a, a bolt of thunder crackling and the light shows Asher in the window looking down. <laughs> oh God, yes. not like the Disney movies. <laughs> yes, before slowly fading back to black. Ah, uh, Jace taught him well. The dad flower <laughs> runs in the family. Magnus going to go ahead, just like while looking at the bow tie, quickly fix it. Oh, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so th th this is kind of like, um, my, my first date I've ever gone on. Same here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't really get out of the library very much. Most of the other Digimon aren't, like, you know, the, the nice to be around. Yeah, they are. Alrighty, so you said you wanted to go all around the place? I, I, I'd love to do anything you'd like to do. Let's go ahead and look around, then. I, I, is there anything you'd like to see? 
I haven't really had a chance to explore the town, so mm -hmm. lead the way. He he's gonna smile and quickly reach out to take your hand. But so, uh, what kind of things would you like to see first? Honestly, it surprised me. Does uh, this surprise you? Um, um, he, he looks like, like he's desperately trying to think of what to do for a moment. Before, uh, he, he suddenly looks excited for a, a brief second. And he nods. Close your eyes. Magnus going to close his before, eyes. Before, before Magna closes his eyes, he sees Asher standing behind Gar, off in the distance a little bit. Magnus get a freaking jump, <laughs> just like for a little bit, just like looking back at the house and back at Asher for like a quick second. It was like, you know what? My mind is probably, probably playing games on me. <laughs> And uh, you hear like a little brief sound, Magna. You're not really sure like necessarily what it is before a pair of larger arms are going to reach out and scoop you up bridal style. Nah. No, he couldn't be doing what I think he's doing. Do you Magnus, open your eyes? Magnus going to squeal for a second before opening his eyes. And you will see a ghoulish gamamon wearing a very nice white suit, smiling down at you, holding you literally off the ground in his arms. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm blushing. <laughs> Magnus going to 100% blush. Let me give you something to really make uh, memories. And Magna, this is 100% Leon's voice. Oh no. <laughs> Magnus going to jump at this, hearing like legitimately Leon's voice. Just like in his head. Fa. Uh wait. We're past the 15 minutes. Okay. Fa. The F um cacophony. The F century. The F orchestra. The F choir. Everything's ringing out in his head before he's like. Oh boy, here we go. Mm, 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 mm. He's pulling a cronk at this point. <laughs> Behind and... his shoulder, you can see Asher now on the roof staring down at you. Oh god. <laughs> and from uh, his back... Uh, almost parting through the clothing without damaging it, a pair of wings uh, flares out before he's going to take to the air and start flying upwards. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Chase opens up a window and shouts, remember protection, and then slams it shut. Speaking of protection. <laughs> Magnus is going to cover his face with his hands, just like, why? Gullis is going to fly up and... Soon the town is 
draped out before you a colorful uh, hodgepodge of flowers and buildings. And it looks absolutely beautiful looking at it from this high up. And you can see the surrounding forests and you can see other areas further on in the distance as well, though they're harder to make out. Kerr? Yes. Where's the air taxi? <laughs> Give me a second. I will have something for you, Asher. So, what do you think of it? What do you think of... What do I think of what? The, uh... Oh, the... Either the... or is fine. I love it. <laughs> And sometimes it's just nice to get away from everything and come up here. Not a lot of Digimon fly, so the skies are usually pretty empty. Yeah. So, we don't really get a lot of outsiders, though. Not from anywhere that's not like one of the five main, uh, cities at least or the smaller towns and villages let's just say we came from a place pretty far it sounds like it's a pretty nice place you you guys seem way different than all the Digimon I've ever met, and it's really nice. Um, it was an okay place. There's always something wrong, isn't there? <laughs> Nowhere's perfect, but. It'd probably be really boring if it was. Yeah. So what do you like doing, Magna? Oh god, there's a funny answer I could do. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, I like to go over medical treatments and everything because I aspire to be a really well known medic. Mm -hmm. And I really just want to make sure my friends, if they get hurt, I can take care of them. That's got to be really hard on you, though. It's tough, but I'm going to get the hang of it eventually. I'm going to be able to make sure I help my friends without hurting them. Or causing <laughs> any other pain. Eventually. Pain's a part of life. No matter what we seem to do, we can never really get, get away from it. Yeah. No matter how you look at it, the world's always mean. I mean, there's some good things in it. Yeah. It's got you. <laughs> Magna's going to just, like, get flustered at that. What do you mean by that? It's got you in it, and I gotta say, any world that has you in it, it can't be all bad. Maybe 99.9% .9 bad, but I think the 0.01% is enough to make it so it's not a complete loss. 
as he just gives a very sagely nod as if like this is the whole truth of the universe. Man, does staying in the library make you a sage or something? <laughs> no. This is... He kind of pauses for a moment. This is more like my retirement job. What do you mean by that? Ah, uh, I used to do a lot of things beforehand, long time ago, long, long time ago nowadays, but, <clears throat> well, I sort of just, you know, decided I wanted to do something different. That's true. So, I started a library. That's really nice. <laughs> it's not easy putting your past behind you. True. I've had a few centuries to do mine, though, and, well, most Digimon don't usually last that long, what with, what with the... how quick they are to... Uh, run into, you know, killing each other or whatever harebrained schemes they get. So true. But no matter what, we can always find that um, good in the world and stuff like that. Oh, which reminds me. Mag is going to pull out the bag that he has of the icons and stuff. He's going to be like, I went ahead and made these because I thought you might like them. Oh, what are they? Um, There's pecans in here. Some of them's like um, coated in cinnamon sugar and then some are covered in chocolate. I don't think I've ever had these before. Oh no. Jace lied to me. Oh no. Remember, He's going to take a little... Like... He's going to take a handful of them before tossing them in his mouth and his face is just going to light up. These are freaking great. I'm glad you like them. These are really good. <laughs> Thanks. The, the, these are, these are, wow. <laughs> Though, they're not as good as you. Oh. That's so sweet. Does so does the place where you're from, Magna, not have a high king? What do you mean? Well, it just seemed like you were really surprised by uh, them. And trying to learn about, like, the way things are done here. Everyone knows about him. As he, uh, he opens up his shirt a little bit and kind of tugs it to the side. You can see, like, a red mark over his heart. We all have our marks that bind us to the High King. No. So I was just, I was curious. So, time for Regicide.
<laughs> Cart. <laughs> um. We're from a very small town and everything. For some reason, I haven't heard about the High King, and I was interested this way. Wow. A place without the High King. What's that like? It, is it bad? I mean, it's a very small town. Everyone knows each other. And as long as we're careful, we're fine. I don't want to imagine what kind of hellscape it probably looks like. Sorry, sorry, that was insulted. I didn't mean to be insulted or dismissive like that. Megan is going to take a deep breath. Um, He's thinking about his old hometown, not Hope's Bastion, but the one beforehand. Mm -hmm. It was all right. I mean, everyone knew each other, and as long as everyone got together, everything was fine. Nothing bad would happen, but the village chief and everything like that didn't really understand some tactics so he would often say for us to do something stupid and we couldn't really say anything against it due to the fact being if we did we could be considered being a traitor or anything oof it's better at least I mean we got out What about the rest of the Digimon, though? They're safer right now. The person who is in charge... Um, isn't in charge as of right now. Mm, so I they're see. all safe. So what happens when his reincarnation comes along, though? We're gonna be careful in... Nor in we're going to be careful and make sure he doesn't go down the same path. We're going to raise him the right way instead of how he was raised beforehand. It seems like a lot of work. Why, why would you bother with it? Because, uh, as I said, we all grew up with each other. We know each other better than we know ourselves. In life, you have building stones as moments for everything. Like me meeting you, me being able to leave the town with my friends, me being able to meet them. Our building stones are the people we know. Because they're there for us every step of the way and everything. nod slowly before kind of letting out a very soft sigh and looking very pensive as he looks out at the night filled sky does what do you think of it here It's kind of like at home. It's nice, but there's some things that can be worked on and everything like that. <laughs> what do you think about, like, with what the High King's done? I haven't been able to look at everything as of right now. But it's interesting with how he's done it. I... I don't want to say a lot of stuff just because I haven't seen it all and I haven't seen both sides yet. 
you go ahead. Just give me your opening thoughts. I'm just, I'm curious. I'm not going to be upset if you say, oh, this is horrible, kill them all, kind of thing. Like, I get that. So, I mean, I won't be upset. I just, I, I'm curious. I want to hear your honest thoughts. Oh no, Big Brother's watching. Oh no. Big Brother's always watching. <laughs> um, There's work that can be done, obviously. I mean... I haven't had a chance to meet Horu just because I prefer not to be meeting like anybody who's in charge really right now due to bad memories and stuff but as far as I can tell with what he's doing with people isn't probably the right way hiking putting marks on people threatening reset essentially if you act the wrong way is scary because you could just oppose him and he could just view your side as wrong and then immediately either reset you or delete you. He's kind of quiet for a moment. He's just kind of looking out at the stars and at the, the realm, so to speak. I used to be around before the High King came around. I knew him before he was the High King, actually. Really? Mm hmm I was... Almost a thousand years ago. A little bit more. Thousand five hundred. Give or take. When we first met. We've known each other for a long time. Long, long time. <sighs> what was he like then? <laughs> he was honestly uh sometimes uh how that your friend Asher acts reminds me a lot of him. He was really? always smiling, always excited. He was always first in, last out of a fight. He threw himself into everything without really kind of thinking about it, knowing that we had his back. But he was always different than us. Like, we, we knew it. He was different than we were. But he always just seemed to have this energy to him and we trusted him and we traveled with him we fought over and over again we threw down despots we fought monsters and we stopped the end of the world over and over again felt like it was Every hundred years or so, something would come up, and we'd have to deal with it. Huh. He was good at it, though, and... Well, he never really got, like, super close. He always seemed to keep us a bit at, like, arm's distance. Or maybe we were. I can't say for sure. But he was, he was, wow, you, you have had to see him. He looks kind of like just 
wistful thinking about it for a moment. But I gotta say, things for a hellscape back then, a real hellscape. Still an issue right now? No, this is all this. This is this is heaven compared to that. Uh. Do you? I can show you some if you want. But I don't want to hurt you. It's fine. Uh, so Magna, I need you to make a integrity roll, please. Oh, yay. It's the first roll of the night. Yay. Asher's still on the roofs, glaring up at where they went. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is gonna be mind forceful, so that's five dice. Oh boy. Uh you need to roll nines on this dice roll. Nine and tens are the only things that count for successes. Do they lower? Oh no, you just have to roll either nine or ten in order to uh get a success. Sevens and eights don't count on this roll. That's how hard it is. It's an oh, increased God. difficulty. Yes. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Roll all the ones. Roll all the ones. <laughs> I rolled a one. I didn't get any success. Not enough ill. That's a botch. Oh, <laughs> no. Not my uh... A party reroll has been played. But Magna, would you like to take the botch? Can I use that party reroll? Yeah, don't you want to take the botch, Magna? It'll be great. It will be great. Go story. ahead. I have been given permission to take that reroll. Roll a one. Roll a one. Roll a one. God, I'm not really that religious, but you made me just do something religious. <laughs> God fucking damn it! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! The dice gods have spoken, Magna! <laughs> I rolled a 10 and I'm like, I can make a comeback. Roll a 1 from that 10. Come on. Well, technically it's not a botch at least. True. And boo. You're oh, and boo. your dice have been vaporized. You have to re-roll. God. <laughs> they really don't want this to fail. Here we go. Roll a 1. Roll a 1. Well, that was not inside it. Wow. And that was actually not that bad. Well, that's a three. Okay. So, Magna, you don't fall into insanity with this. That's something good to hear. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best ways to put this. Um. So, Magna. Magna. What you are seeing, all the things you are seeing oh, right now. Miss. Not enough ill. This makes your village look like paradise even even the depravity of the mega who ran it 
makes it look like paradise. What you are seeing, the horrific acts, the sheer disregard of life, the horrific... I, I cannot put into words how horrible everything you are seeing currently flies through your mind of what they're doing. This is depravity at its absolute worst. And then, like, you, you almost you do not have a frame of reference for how terrible this is and how horrific it is. This is... This is something that would give nightmares nightmares. And this was the normal here. And what they kind of dealt with when they could. And you're only seeing like a few hours of this place flash through your head. Magna? Magna? Are you okay? Um... Glares from below. Um... Magna's going to look pale. For example, one sight you saw was a Digimon being cut open and basically being skinned uh, their skin being worn as a cloak, and all the while they were being kept alive as they were basically reduced to a pile of organs that was then put into a wall and used to maintain the house that it was in. And that was one of the nicer things that you saw, Magna. Can we go, go please? It wasn't here, notably. This was a long, long time ago. It, it'll pass. It'll pass. Just focus on me. Focus on me. I was a little worried about it being overwhelming for you. Magnus is going to pull himself closer uh, to Gar, trying not to look down. Yeah, Magna, given given the context of what you're seeing, what he showed you, and what you saw in the town, this town is like far and away, very, 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 very restrained, and it's almost like heaven and hell being swapped. Like, this place is like orderly, kind, and nice by like what you saw. By your own standards, it's still depraved and bad. But by what it used to be, um, this is a very noticeable improvement. Like, night and day improvement. Oh. It was especially bad for the humans. Raina, are you okay? Let's... I don't want to look at it anymore. Please. It's okay. He's going to take his hand away, and it's going to stop.
Magna's visibly, like, breathing heavily. Just, like, the panicked. Uh, go, go ahead. They do th- that? They did. Back before. Before the High King. Why? Because it was fun. Because they enjoyed it. Because they wanted to explore and see what they could do. Just to... Just they to... didn't have reasons. I don't... I don't want to deal with that again. I don't want to see it. Why? He's gonna hug him. He's he's going to hug you very tightly, Magna. The when the High King rose, he put a stop to all that forcefully, and he put his mark on every Digimon. So you're telling me that the you're telling me that the person who would have handled it was if the High King didn't show up, they would have continued doing this. Probably would have wiped themselves out. Magnus making a mental note to be like I was thinking wrong of this dude. Whoever they are, Jesus Christ. I'm pretty sure they need uh, mental help. They need a psychiatrist or something. Yeah, uh, Magna, you basically saw a day's worth of stuff. Imagine going through that for hundreds or thousands of years. Yeah, they definitely need a psychiatrist. Hmm. Yeah, it was right before the the High King appeared and did what he did. Uh, I remember he tried to start a new kingdom to bring Digimon and humans together. To bring them together, huh? He was friends with a human. They were close friends. Probably like the only friend that he really had at the time. And he thought that he was going to create a brand new kingdom for the world to help bring Digimon and humans together and end all the pain and suffering and misery that was going on. It was supposed to be a brand new day for the digital world. He wanted to make a brand new digital world, huh? Well, I mean, not an actual new world, but he wanted to change things. He wanted to make things better for everyone, and he wanted to bring them together uh, peacefully to show them that for all the differences they have and for all the darkness they have, then maybe they could turn over a new leaf that they didn't have to do what they were doing. Uh, Trying to make them turn over a new leaf and I guess it's just not working all the way. They ended up burning the city to the ground, murdered all the humans, 
including his friend, and did horrible things with the bodies. After that, a few years later, the High King appeared, and he forcefully subjugated every Digimon on the island with just his raw power alone. He hides what he looks like, so I'm assuming he probably evolved since then, but I know who it is, and old friend, he offered me a position as the lead general of his army, but I didn't really want to do that anymore, so he gave me a spot here in a bookstore because he knew how much I enjoyed books. Makes sense. But he, huh? said, but he said if I ever wanted my job back, then it was always an open position and all I had to do was ask him for it. But I never have. He's going to give a soft chuckle. God, I'm awful at this, aren't I? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. I I asked you to show me, and well, what do I get? This is supposed to be a date, though. This is supposed to be something nice, and here I am bumming you out and hurting you. God, I really am the worst. Wouldn't it be funny to say I've seen worse? <laughs> that that would be uh that'd be kind of surprising. Yeah. I'll tell you about that later, but let's try to get back to the date then, I guess. What would you like to do? Well, what was it you originally told me? Go to the bakery, eat a couple sweets, and go look at the stars? He nods. Well, let's go ahead and do that then. He'll nod. And, uh... As you do so. Hey, Asher. Glares. Uh, little Ash has climbed up onto the uh, roof with you, and he's got his little staff in his mouth, and he looks at you. What are we doing? Oh, uh, so uh, Magna and... Uh, Magna's gone on date with the BBEG, and so we need to... Uh, we, 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 I, I want to keep an eye on him. Where is he? Asher just points up where he's still glaring. Oh. Uh, do you need help getting up there? Oh, no. Yes! He'll nod and he'll take his staff and wave it as a little platform of water forms under the two of them and they'll begin to float up and fly up to them. Oh, excellent. So we got to keep our distance. We don't want to be seen. As he waves his staff again and the water in the air seems to start sparkling and uh, hiding them from view. Excellent. All right. So we got to keep an eye on them and make sure uh, Magna doesn't do anything. Well, Magna. That feels hard to do if if we're not supposed to let him do any magna things because I think a lot of things he does are magna things. 
because he is Magna after all, right? So Magna things would be common. Trust me, if you see the Magna things being done, you'd know what I talk, what I mean by Magna things. Huh. Okay. So what do we do if we see Magna things? We burst in and smack him upside the head. But wouldn't that interrupt things? Oh, you're bad. This is uh, really hard to do. We'll do it anyways. Ooh, wait, or wait. we can. He conjures a little. He conjures a little uh, a ball of water. What if we throw these water balls at him? And then ah, I like it. I like it. This will work. Then we can just make sure. Wait, we could even drop on him like it's rain. Ah, uh, he might not get the hint then. Mm. Okay. Should I make a bigger one? As he makes one the size of a cannonball. <laughs> yes. Done. Wait, this is really big. This might be hard to throw. Should I make a cannon out of water? Yeah. Got to do that. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, sorry. Too loud. Uh, the platform begins to change slowly as it becomes a small little pirate ship of water, complete with little cannons loaded with cannonballs of water. Yeah, this will be great. We shall do many evil things Wait. with this. Wait, hang on. As the water flows up over Asher, and now Asher has a little water eye patch. Yeah. All right, let's set sail. After them. As he begins to sail this large ship that's currently hidden after Magna and Gar as they are flying down to the bakery. Uh, Magna, for some reason, Gar is letting out a very long-suffering sigh, for some reason. Magna is going to pull himself close to Gar and just ask, What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just thought I saw something. What do you mean, you saw something? Nothing you need to worry about. We have a bakery to go to. Yeah, you're right. We do. As you guys soon land at a very beautiful looking bakery. All right, you can get whatever you want. It's my treat. Magnus going to look at all the items and stuff before choosing um before going and picking a piece of cake oh you like the vanilla cake I mean, I know it's kind of basic, but I I like it. Hey, didn't you know vanilla used to be one of the uh, rarest substances in the digital world? We just learned how to make it more, so it get, became more common. Really? It's not. Yeah, it's not basic. It used to be uh, something only the highest of Digimon could have. Oh, wow. Whoa, man. Over and paid for it. 
This vanilla is great. <laughs> oh no. Actually, fun fact, that is the true uh, history of vanilla. Vanilla for the longest time was literally something only the rich and affluent could have. It was basically considered to be a status symbol because of how rare and difficult it was to get. And then nowadays it's very common and easy and it's considered like basic when for most of history it was like the sort of ingredient to get. Mm-hmm. I just makes me happy because I love vanilla. He will also get one. And pay for both of them for you. Oh boy. By the way, he's still holding your hand. Despite yeah. having put you down. Oh no. How tall is Galoo's Gabamon? About six feet tall. <laughs> Oh my god, Glue's Gabamon walking with a Dracomon X who's half his height could be considered like you're walking with your child. Okay, uh, we need to fire. No, no, no. We need to fire? He did say oh. thank you. Uh, hey Magna? Oh no. R roll an awareness roll. Awareness? Or, uh, sorry. Perception? Yes. Brain went to other game. Mind forceful perception. That is seven. Oh, no. I will also roll for him. <laughs> 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 You're I'm... currently distracted with the fact he's holding your hand and saying sweet nothings to you. I I'm actually gonna do a funny thing with this. Magna, you are such a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, whatever, no. Asher. So what I want to say something. Pull the lever, Asher. <laughs> Pull. And the cannons fire. The boom of thunder sounds above the village. As a dozen cannonballs of water come flying at Magna. Can I say oh. something before I get hit? Yes. Thank you. Metagamer! <laughs> That is metagaming <laughs> as hell. No. That is stricken from the record. <laughs> you hear that, Scribe? Strike it from the record. Uh, however, before the cannonballs of water impact into Magna's poor soft flesh... Uh, Gulas just kind of casually flicks his fingers up as Magna, you are suddenly surrounded by a uh, circle of black fire that seems to swirl and dance beautifully for you. And it's absolutely wonderful as you hear almost sizzling sounds. Ooh. And, the, and the fire dances before your eyes. Ooh. Pretty. I, I figured a little show uh, for you, Magna. You know, for you to eat your cake, too. As he slowly turns and looks up towards the ship. And he just kind of casually wags one finger back and forth like, uh, 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 uh. Glares intensify. Hey. Asher, Asher. What? I think he's challenging us. I think so. He can see us.
Do we need bigger guns? What do we do? No, no. Next time, we'll do a pincer attack. Pincer attack? Wait, what if we drop the green on them? Oh, yeah! Okay, so you drop me off here, and then go get some green. Okay, I'll drop you here, as he slowly brings the ship down to a rooftop. Asher gets off, and then crawls to the edge, and spies over the edge. As Magna, he is leading you to a very nice-looking park. And he kind of gets you set down against a tree, and you have a perfect view of the stars here. Asher is following. <laughs> da, 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 da. Asher still has the little warnings that uh, Ash gave him. So he is still invisible to Magna's sight. No, oh, no. Um, Magna is going to start naming off like constellations that he grew up with. So Ursa Major, Ursa Minor. Ooh, if you look over there, that's the, um, that's Scorpio. And then on the other side, you can see the Draco constellation. How do you, wait, the stars have names? I thought they were just, like, lights in the sky. I have no idea who named them, but... When I was in the library back at home, trying to study and everything, I found out that the stars were named something, and depending on what's in the sky can tell you um, what's supposed to happen, or even just some of the constellations have stories. Can you tell me some of them? One's easy, Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, known as the Big Dipper and Little Dipper. Their names, Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, Ursa is Latin for bear. And so, Major and Minor, of course, is big and little, but it was, it's essentially just two bears that hunted with the Greek goddess Artemis that when they died she put them in the stars in order to remember them forever and they can help guide Digimon who are lost because um, Ursa Major the handle for the Big Dipper it points to the North Star. He's going to listen absolutely enthralled to you. Asher is doggy crawling up behind Magna. As Asher, you see the large ship returning. <laughs> And Ash is going to poke his head over the side of the ship and wave to Asher. Asher will wave back and shake his head. And put one claw Asher, up to his almost, muzzle. You can almost hear like a cocking sound from the ship. As though it's preparing and ready to unleash its cargo if it's needed. Excellent. Honestly, Magna, you, you sound like one of the most intelligent, smart Digimon I've ever met. You could say that, but all I'm bringing up is what I've learned from stories and everything. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Most Digimon never come, even come into the library. I could 
I'm usually just standing around some dusty books and just trying to take care of things. I mean, there's one consolation that I want to eventually be. Mm -hmm. Be something like. You can kind of see it just like a little bit over the horizon. Orion's belt. Um, uh -huh. It's always facing towards the Scorpio constellation. Because in one of the stories I read, Orion was a hunter that the Greek goddess Artemis want, always hunted with. And one day, Apollo her brother challenged Orion the Hunter to fight a scorpion. And of course, the scorpion was made immortal. But Orion didn't know. And when Orion went to fight the hunt, fight the scorpion, Orion was killed because the scorpion stung him. And Artemis found out what her brother has had done put Orion into the sky in, all, in order to remember him and also put Scorpion in the sky to make Apollo remember one of the sins he's did. He's caused upon the mortal world from taking a strong hunter from the world. I just want to be remembered as someone who's able to be there. Somebody who's done something and not just been on the sidelines. He's going to smile at Magna and kind of reach out and squeeze your hand. Well, I think you do that. But sometimes you got to pick and choose your moment. Yeah, that's probably something I need to work on, if anything. It's hard. Because you want to get involved in everything, because you want to help everyone. And, well, trust me, it's going to burn you out if you do that. You can't help everyone, no matter how much you want to. You can't save everyone, either. But, hey... I mean, you might not be able to change the world necessarily, but you can change the world for a single person. And for me, that's that was enough. Back then. Yeah. It's really peaceful looking up into the sky. Just looking up the stars. Makes me want to forget everything that's happened, but it's all just going to be there no matter what. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Hey. Even if, even if it's going to be there right now, now that matters. So let's just enjoy it right now. Forget everything else. None of it matters. Just me and you. Tomorrow's gonna come no matter what we do. So let's just focus on making everything from moment to moment as great as we possibly can. Magna is going to reach over and pull himself closer, pulling himself into a hug as he just leans into Gar. Besides, you got me. I'll take care of you too. Whatever you need, I'll help you. No matter what. I will always come 
when you call me. To hell or high water, Mer I will destroy anything that tries to get in the way to protect you. He's going to gently tap uh, Magda's nose, and that's a promise. All you got to do is say my name, and I'll find a way to get to you and talk to you. And I'll help you through everything and anything. Don't. You don't need to worry about that. I'll be... You don't need to worry about destroying the world and everything. Everything's gonna be fine, alright? Bite on Magnus' tail. He, he's gonna chuckle at that i'm not gonna destroy the world silly i was being facetious i was trying to be sweet i just meant that nothing's gonna keep me from you if you need me i'll be there no matter what gets in the way is there no response to the bite of 87 <laughs> <laughs> Asher really is biting Magna's tail after he said that. Magna, you feel a sharp pain in your tail. I know, I just, just screamed already. Oh, we didn't hear you. Uh, Magna, are you are you okay? Magna's just like flinging his tail to the side, trying to see what's like grabbing onto it. Asher let go right away and is uh, crawling back into the bushes. Magna's just gonna like hold onto his tail, like something bit me. Ow! Asher, you get the distinct sense that something is glaring at the bush you're hiding in. Asher is ignoring it. He is writing down a note and moving bushes and throwing it at Magnus' head. Magna, a note hits your head. Magnus is going to grab it and quickly open it. It, it just says... Don't talk about destroying the world. Magnus is going to sigh real quickly before he's like, <laughs> God. Is everything okay, hon? Yeah, everything's, everything's all right. Just, I know you're trying to be sweet, but just let's not talk about destroying the world or anything, okay? Can I nod? <sighs> he writes another note. Seriously, stop bringing it up! Throws it at Magna. Magna's just gonna pick it up and just quickly ignite it in my hand, knowing what it's <laughs> gonna be saying. Metagamer. No, there's a hundred percent Magna knows already what it's gonna say, due to the fact being he knows what the first one said. It's like he knows Asher's gonna be like, dude, what the fuck?
he's gonna chuckle a little bit at Magna and just kind of reach up and gently touch Magna's cheek. This has honestly been one of the nicest times of my life. Being here with you. Really? Mm-hmm. Promise. Another note hits Magna in the face. Magna's gonna open it just, like, real quickly. You should say me too. That you enjoyed it too. You know, I've enjoyed this as well. It was really nice to be able to get out and go look around and everything. I thought it has been really sweet too. Another note. Magnus is going to look at the note. Kiss him! Followed by another note. What's this one going to say? Get to third base already! <laughs> Magnus is going to go ahead and lean in close. Magna, who is half this guy's height. Do you want me to seductively climb this dude and roll him? Yes! Ones? Yes! <laughs> also, Kerr, you okay? Yes, I was listening to you guys. Okay. Kerr, okay, what's my need to roll for this? Grounds for some reason. Wait, what? Oh, the no. The connection has been lost. I don't have that issue for some reason. So you're still connected, uh, Brian? I'm like maybe the only person in it. Wow. Well. I will work on this in the background. Anyways, you're 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 leaning in, you know. Hello? Have I lost net? Can you guys still hear me in uh stream? Oh, my Discord went down. Very odd. Everything else seems to be working. Um... Huh. Why? OK. 
Okay, so Twitch is still working for me. I cannot start the Stream Raiders battle for some reason. I cannot connect to Fantasy Grounds. This is so weird. Oh wait, did this recover? No, it did not. The universe doesn't want this scene to play out. Uh... This is so weird. Like we have some, we have connection to some things, but not others. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording in case the, the so we can uh, hopefully get this back. Hello again, everybody. Uh, thank you for your patience. So, yeah, we paused the recording just because no point in having you guys, you know, have the recording of just nothing happening uh, except for me trying to figure out what the heck was going on with the net. But it's recovered now, so let's get back to it. Uh, Magna, you were going to uh, do the kiss, yes? And apparently a climb. Up somebody literally twice your height. Yes. Yes. As you climb up, he's going to smile and just, like, grin at you, Magna. And then... When you smooch him, you see his cheeks just, like, turn beet red. And he's gonna squeak softly. Uh, yeah, uh... Uh, do, do, do you wanna maybe head back with me? Let's go ahead and do that, if you're ready. He's gonna nod and scoop you up in his arms and hold you very close and tight. I think that sounds like a good time to me. Yes. And as they walk off, the scene slowly cuts to black as uh, Asgar is going to bend down and gently kiss Magnus' forehead. Asher still following. And that will be the end of our paralogue. Oh. oh Was not man. expecting it that soon. Well, there are things that may happen that I don't think are going to be appropriate for strength. We we will let the fans decide what how far Magna makes it with Gar. Okay. Well, just for the record, um, Asher will be uh, watching from outside the window, oh, and man. he will be throwing many notes through the window, giving <laughs> tips. <laughs> oh my. Yes. Oh god, no. Yes. As Mingo says, if only someone plays an overly descriptive card. <laughs> nope, we gotta fade to black. So, thank you everybody for joining us for this paralogue chapter of Data Resistance Squad. Check out the website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Mastodon, Blue Sky, Patreon, and more. 
They are on the website as well as down in the description below through our link tree. Thank you to my patrons, tippers, and subscribers. It is your support that keeps this channel alive and going. I cannot do this without your guys' help and support, so thank you. Consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. It's one of the best ways to support the channel, though you can also do so by simply sharing the stream around. As well as coming by, hanging out, grabbing some packs of cards through stream loots, or by subscribing to our YouTube. But for now, thank you all so much for joining, and I bid you the most fondest, a duke. A duke. Adios. Bye, everyone.